Tiny CLR and Gadgeteer community. Uh, there's something new we want to show you uh, today. This is our newest uh, Gadgeteer uh, mainboard. It's called Cerberus. And let's stop this for a second so I can show you a little bit more about this new board. If I can get it. <laughs> there you go. So, our monkey Fezzi can sit aside for now and we get to him later. Um, basically, this new board is made for robotic applications. It's made to be really, really small. And um, as you can see here, I'll show you the main board. Um, I made this too tight. Okay, so as you can see, the main board is extremely small. This is the power module. It's almost as big as the power module. And to give you an idea, I'm going to put this next to uh, Hydra over here. You can see it's uh, less than half the size of a Hydra. So it is really, really small. Even though it's small and has eight sockets, um, if you see what are the available functionality on the sockets, it really has everything you would need. Even has more, probably more functionality than Hydra. The only thing this board will be missing is uh, the RGB uh, sockets, which are needed for large TFT displays. Still, you can use um, a serial character display or uh, a small OLED display, and we're trying to see how we can make this uh, simple for everybody. So you can still have a, a display option on on this board. This board has a full networking support, so you can uh, use it for a small um, network monitor, monitoring some sensors and uh, connecting to the network. Maybe turn your coffee pot uh, on in the morning before you get out of bed through your phone. Um, there are many options. Now, another thing I want to show, I want to point out here is these uh, spacers that we've been using here for our demos. And we are loving these spacers, and we bought thousands of these, and we'll have them on our shop very soon. We really like them so much because it makes life so much easier. So before you go and get into cutting acrylic and creating your own enclosures, maybe you want to mount uh, things. You can mount them on a plate like we've seen in, uh, um, in some pictures on the forum, but there's another way to do this is by through using these spacers. And they are very, very handy. So... I want to mount this small module here, uh, for example. So since this is male, female, you can use it as a nut and then and as a screw as well. So put this in, and this is back in business. Now we can plug in power. Oops, I mounted this the other way, but still all right. And now we have a small robot. It's not doing much, it's just moving and rotating. But now, as simple, we can add an accelerometer um, uh, and gyro sensors and make a balancing robot or maybe something else that we are preparing for you guys that uh, you'll see in the near future as well. I hope you like this and you enjoy the new mainboard. And uh, there's more to come, so stay tuned. Thank you very much.